So next we have the space heater on some keys. So again, what I've done is I've opened up the space heater as a hardware insert in Pro Tools. This time we're using the channel seven and eight from the space heater. So we're just gonna play back again, just uh, clean, no distortion, completely bypassed. So we've got our acoustic piano. Space heater engaged, just the transformer. Levels are set at about three o'clock. Bypassed. Transformer. Now we'll turn on the tube drive. Again with the drive set at about 10 o'clock, level at about three o'clock. Bypassed and engaged. I'll bring up the drives to about 12. Drives are at 12. Bring the level back to about one. Increase the drives up to about three o'clock. Bring the level back to about 12. Bypass. Engage. Bring the drives all the way up, back off the level to about 11 o'clock. I'll bring these back to about 12 and the level up to about 1. So we have the drive set at 12, the level set at 1. Heat's at 140 volts, so we're going to bring that down to 70. Bring up the level to about 3 to compensate. And then we'll bring it down to 35. And here it breaks up really, really quickly. We really need to bring up these levels to compensate for that uh, low voltage setting. Bypassed. And in at 35. Up to 70. And up to 140. So that's the space heater on acoustic piano, a uh, rather ambient recording of acoustic piano, but you can get the idea of how a little bit of distortion or a lot of distortion can really shape that piano sound.